Rod, every so often it seems there's new fads that runs through science. Uh, some of them are very, very real, like uh, relativity or quantum physics, and they change things. Uh, recent times it feels like information, the sense that not information is real, everybody knows that, but that information really is the singularly most fundamental thing, that everything is a product of information. The famous uh, quote from John Wheeler that it, stuff, comes from bit, information, and it's taken many turns in today's world. You work in information in, in the practical world of building artificial intelligence and robots. So does that give you a sense of, of how real the concept of information is? I'm a bit of a skeptic <laughs> about about the fundamental nature of information. Um, I think it's a it's another case of we've got this great tool; it must be everywhere. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, we 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 see it in terms of trying to transform basic physics into computability mm -hmm. because we've got some very strong theorems about computability. But I, I, I'm skeptical. We, you know, another example of this is consciousness must be related to quantum mechanics because yeah. they're both complex and mysterious. <laughs> um, so lots of people are doing good work and they, they're coming up with some fundamental things, but I'm suspicious that in the long term we will say that that was a diversion. That really didn't get us to, to the nirvana that we hoped it would get us to. Well, why, why is that? It, 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 seems, uh, it seems to make some points that certainly some people would say that simple rules, if you really look at how they work, can generate remarkable complexity. And certainly the universe started from simplicity and became very complex. That, that process needs to be explained. Uh, others would say that uh, because everything is so expressible in information, if you can calculate the information content of the universe, the universe itself becomes as if it's a computer and therefore it can generate the program which is the sense of reality. That's attractive, <laughs> but then you tend to sort of put things on, you know, brush things under the carpet, sweep things under the carpet that uh, are difficult. So the non-isotropic nature of the universe starts to come about if, if thing is in, things are information on a grid. Which means um, non-isotropic. Non-isotropic means that, you know, if, if when there's information basically under there, it's often arranged on a grid or a hexagonal mm -hmm. pattern, right. and then things aren't symmetric as you yeah. move, you know, 0.34 degrees. Yeah. Well, you're not quite yeah. on the grid anymore, and now you have to explain that. And so it seems to, and, and there's theories upon theories about how to handle that, but it seems to be to be adding more complexity in the way that uh, the um, astronomers with the Earth-centric universe <laughs> yeah. were having to add the epicycles yeah. <laughs> to explain. Once we got away from the Earth-centric universe and we got to a different model, then simplicity reigned. Right now I see in this information idea, well, it looks simple, then you try to apply it and things get really, really complex. So that says to me, and I may be wrong, but that says to me, it's probably not going to work out in the long term. The thing that's going to work out in the long term is when you get back to simplicity, not having to complexify along the way. So what is that simplicity? Because people would say that information really is the simplest. Yes, but when they try to explain things in terms of the information, then they, it's, it's like s circles were the simplest. Right, so we have right. the Earth at the center on the right, circles, right, right. and you need these extra yeah. little circles yeah, around to make quite, it work. Yeah, it didn't right. quite work. Yeah. When you got to an ellipse, yeah. that was the right simplicity, yeah. um, uh, which wasn't much different. You know, yeah. circles are a special case. Right. So I, I think that, you know, it, it, may, it may be that this work leads us into a different way of thinking, and someone, there will be an Einstein or a, or a Newton or someone who says, Yes, but if you look at it this way, then it becomes simple, mm. and and that will get, you know, get rid of a lot of the stuff mm. that was attractive in the first place about thinking about it as an information. Mm. So we may get to a, a new level of understanding. Well, what what benefits though does thinking in terms of information have towards uh, uh, modern science? I mean, oh, I, th I think the attraction of thinking in, in terms of information is that it's it, it, it is complete abstraction. So you already have total abstraction. You can get from the physical, as soon as you get the information, it's abstract and you can have theorems about it, you can talk about it, you can talk about what is computable, what's mm -hmm, not computable. Mm -hmm. And and so you, you have this rich theoretical body which just plugs in and applies. And 
it's simulatable with computers yeah, really and, easily. And, and, that, and that's right. And, and the question is, is that simulation on a computer, how does that correspond to the reality? And for the longest time, people thought it's, it's, a, it's a model of reality, and maybe can come close if it's very sophisticated, but it is far from reality. The, the new step is that it's, it is it reality. Is reality. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm. And uh, the, the attraction is that you know, if you get more and more sophisticated and you show the com computational capabilities and capacity of the universe, uh, so th th there's so, an internal so, so, coherence. So there's an internal coherence, but t to me, it's just relying on the particular path we took with computer science. We took a particular uh -huh. path. We could have taken a very radically different path and had a very radically different set of important theorems for computer science. If what, we like what, what, what okay. we say So what happened with computer science in the 50s and the 60s mm -hmm. it was computational complexity. Um, if you want to do a computation, you want to sort n numbers, uh, what is the, you know, Worst case, how many how many comparisons yeah, right, do you right, have right, to do right. between numbers? And it turns out that you need at least n times the logarithm of n comparisons between numbers to sort a list that's n long. And it was all about how long does a computation take and how much storage does a computation mm -hmm. take. Mm -hmm. There were the two fundamental things. A different way of thinking about things could have been if we'd had a different technology and if, if uh, we hadn't followed Alan Turing's lead. Alan Turing was a very important mathematician from Great Britain. A different way we could have gone is if you set up a computation and you have a one-bit error, how much can the computation diverge over what time? Oh, how reliable oh, would oh, it be? Oh. And so right now we have reliability problems with, with complex networks and we don't have a good theory of it and viruses <laughs> get in and mess it up. If we had that as the fundamental set of questions, how, how distorted can computation get by noise we we would have a different model of computation, and then these guys would be having a different model of physics <laughs> because we had a different model of computation. Yeah. The model of computation we have was driven by the economics of the technology we had, where storage was expensive and right. getting the job done in a certain amount of time was important. Right. One right. of the limitations. Right. Now we're much more interested in how robust something is to noise in the system, and and that's our big struggle with the internet of of, of keeping it working in the face of lots and lots more noise in the system. So fundamentals, the structure of, of the system gives rise because you're in that system to a certain way of describing information as it goes out to the universe, but it might have been a different, might have been, been a different, different way. Could have right. been a, absolutely right. a different way. Right.